Hey y'all, so I hope you're having a blessed day today. I want to greet y'all in the name of God, the Father, our Lord, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, turn on notifications if you want more future videos. Today I'm going to be talking about semen retention. And this is basically going to be a part two of Don't Do This on Celibacy, if you saw my last video. And the purpose of this video is going to, is going to be you should be doing semen retention for the right reasons and not for the wrong reasons. And have the right motives, motives behind it because what I see on the internet nowadays is I see men doing semen retention. I see the masculine community and the red pill community promoting it and doing it, but they're not doing it for the right reasons. And one, and then and one of them being being is, and what what you shouldn't do is that you should not be doing celibacy to attract women. And now, don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing women or anything, and I'm not condemning women or anything. But the thing is that women are not not the end price, and also they're they're not they're you shouldn't be putting it on a pedestal. And it says in Proverbs chapter thirty one verse three, is that give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to wish to destroy the kings, fellas. Now I know the masculine community and the red pill community be promoting zero retention. I know they be practicing it, but I know some guys who are on the internet internet are not promoting it for the right reasons. And most of and worst of all, they're not doing it for the right reasons. They're just doing it so that for the women, so that they can attract track women and so that they can sleep and fornicate with them. And that's basically abusing the gift that God has given us, the gift of celibacy. And now not only that, when you when you're on celibacy, and you and, and like you oh you decide to sleep with a woman and fornicate with her, it not only lead, lead yourself astray, and you lose and that you're losing your sense of purpose and mission, and and sight of God, but you also lead the woman who trying to walk with the Lord astray as well. And that's basically not a good look for you, is it? No, of course not. The purpose of one of the purposes of celibacy, the main purpose of celibacy, is so that God can get all all the glory so that God may be glorified and also so that you can wait till marriage and do and so that you, you won't be distracted by the pleasures of this world but you have room to ch chase after God your mission and your purpose and your goals and semen that's one of the purpose one of the purpose of semen retention and if you if you're doing semen retention it doesn't attract women and just leave with them you're basically you're still putting women on the pedestal like, like, sleeping with women is just, is just the same as, as fornic, it's just the same as washing, washing corn. But I'm going to be real with you. It's, it doesn't matter if you're not sleeping with women, if you're not washing, washing corn anymore. If, I, if you're doing either of those two things, you're still putting women on the pedestal. You're still, you're still, you're still looking, looking to women to fulfill your needs that you want, to fulfill that void in your heart. And if you're doing, doing that, first of all, that's coming off as needy, needy and clingy. That's one thing. Second of all, you're depending on women to 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 keep you happy, which they they can't do. Like I'm sorry, I'm sorry, folks. So, for folks, she is not special, guys. Like I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. She may, she may. She, if she brings you help, if she if she brings brings happiness to her life, hey, that's good. But you can't you can't dip, make depend on her to be the center of your universe. That's don't, that is one of the biggest mistakes you can make. And and that in your and and the minute she leaves, oh, your world is gonna fall apart. Apart, and that's the reason heartbreaks happen, cause you're basically making making women this women the sense of the universe which was never meant meant to be which which were de which were never meant to be that position heck women don't don't women don't like being the center of your universe they don't cuz again you're putting when you're depending on women for happiness you're putting you're, you're putting a lot of pressure on them and it's not it's not really a good look and me personally, I made I made these mistakes in the past. And I believe I made this recently. I'm I'm honest, I'll be honest. I'm guilty of this. And I got ghosted because of it. But I decided to leave. I decided to leave her alone because 
She has her own life. And I have to respect that. But anyway, women are, the, are not are not the end prize. And they're not God. They're not angels. They're human beings. They go to the bathroom. They eat. Eat. Sleep. Sleep. Get periods. They ain't all they're, they're not angels. And neither are we, we brothers. Like the only thing that can fill the void in your heart is a relationship with God. That's the only thing I can fill your void. It's by giving your life to Jesus. And the thing is, he's the only one that can keep you on this on this celibate journey. And the thing is, you can't do it do it by, by willpower alone. It's only by placing your faith and trust in Jesus Christ can you can you can you do the celib celibacy journey, and can you stay focused on your purpose and your mission. Anyway, that's it for the video. Don't do a celibacy for women. Because you're gonna you're gonna end up getting heartbroken, you're gonna end up being miserable, you're gonna end up being depressed. Don't be malicious, follow Christ.